to me and my Falcons. Daniel is on a hot streak. He won four straight games after figuring out how to run the fucking football. And now he's going to take on the powerhouse, the three-time Super Bowl champion, DeAndre Gordon, that quarterback with his new team, the Atlanta Falcons, in his first year with the Falcons. Uh, taking on the best defensive line in the league, headed by Miles Garrett. Gonna come out in the split backfield. Good. Read option here. He's gonna take off. He got a little bit of field. Look at that. Seven yards to kick off the day. You know, you really can't sleep on that running ability. Like 970 yards in the season. A lot of teams get so focused on the passing game, but yeah, he can run it too. Such a such a great offense here with K Blaze. D Gordon you got Ryan Swanson and Sidney Jones jumps the out route. This might be a pick six. Can Devontae Freeman stop him? He misses the tackle. And on the first pass attempt of the game, it is a pick six. The Browns are getting off to a good start here. That is the first time he has thrown an interception since about week 10. He's only had four of those on the season. They're hard to come by compared to 58 touchdowns. And Sidney Jones gets it here on the first play or the second play of the game. You know, of the two corners, Denzel Ward is not the guy you want to go to. You think you want to attack Sidney Jones with Antonio Callaway being a decent receiver. But Sidney Jones shows there. He wins that matchup. Let's see how it goes the rest of the game. About set to begin their next drive. The Coming out in the gun. See if he's shaken by that interception. He's going to motion cable he's out. He's going to try to hit him on the wheel. Doesn't see it. And his second pass attempt of the day is picked off. Who's that linebacker? Number 44 beat, K beat Callaway to the spot. Taki Taki with the pick. That is two interceptions and two plays from the Falcons offense. This is not a good start for them. Baker Mayfield making his debut already up 7-0. Doesn't have to do much to get into the end zone. He's going to hand it off to Kareem Hunt who breaks it out to the right. One man to beat. He jukes him but he gets stopped at about the three yard line. 14 yards. Wow, this is a great start for the Cleveland Browns. The Falcons hadn't been down. Dre hasn't been down all season to just about anybody. And here they're looking at going down 14 nothing in the first two minutes of the game. He's going to throw it right to the linebacker, but he doesn't make a break on the ball. And that is David Njoku going up, putting the Browns up by two scores. I don't think there could have been a better start for this Browns team. You can't let the Chargers get up. Get up here, run the ball, doing good. Attacking the defense, starting off with that pick six. And now they're going to kick it off to Anthony Schwartz, who's probably not going to return this one. He doesn't do it often. And they're going to let that bounce out the back of the end zone. So what is wrong with this Falcons team right now? Normally, you try to hit the out routes to K-Blaze and Callaway, and then you have Swanson over the middle, and then you have the run game. But right now, they're really hitting the way for it, trying to attack these corners and linebackers as they hit the sweep to K-Blaze, who spins inside. He has a little bit of field. One man to beat, and he gets caught by the safety. First completion of the day, 27 yards. You don't see that often. He's completed more passes to the other team than he has to his uh to his own receivers coming out in the single back he's gonna hit a play fake rolling out to the right has a man open decides to tuck himself he's gonna get the first down game of about 12. i really think they should stick to the quarterback run game these uh these defensive backs and linebackers are came to play coming out in the spread one man in the backfield play fake dropping back Still scanning, tries to get out of the pocket. He fumbles. The lineman's going to pick up the ball. He's going to gain a couple yards, actually. Is he going to get the first down? <laughs> nah. He gets about six or seven out of that. Miles Garrett still gets credit for the sack. Well, that was almost a third turnover in three drives for the Falcons. This is looking really rough, but nonetheless, they're really close to the red zone. Let's see what they call here. Brown showing blitz. He's looking at the coverage. Play fake. Press. Oh, has a man deep, but Taki Taki beats him to the spot. He's going to have another pick. That is three interceptions and three drives for the Falcons. This is looking absolutely horrible 
For a minute, it looked like he had the man open, but Taki Taki just makes a beeline for the spot. As we do know, oh, Baker Mayfield throws it. What is intercepting? So back-to-back -back interceptions. Baker Mayfield trying to run the RPO and throw in a backside slant. Gets swatted and picked off by Keanu Neal. Now the Falcons are going to take over at the 15-yard line. Coming out after three straight interceptions. What are we going to do on the 15-yard line? He's going to hit a play fake. And he's sacked. Who is that? Oh, Dante McKenzie on the side. One of the three absolute beasts on the D-line for the Browns. Showing blitz again. Make some adjustments. He's going to hit play fake. He's throwing that in. This time, Taki Taki cannot make it to the spot. And DJ Chark has the touchdown, cutting the lead in half. Now it is a 14-7 game with, four, with about five minutes left in the first quarter. Honestly, you know, you're looking at that. I think that's the hole that, uh, that they've been trying to attack this whole game. It's just that Taki Taki has been really good at beating the receiver to the spot. You know, this uh, offense isn't designed to throw people open. It's more like throwing them to the hole in the defense. And the Browns defense is doing a good job of letting those holes look open and then just sprinting to it and closing it. It's kind of like the run game. How you leave a hole open and then all of a sudden the linebacker is there to fill it. And right now the Browns have been doing good until that last play. Baker Mayfield actually going to have to drive down the field. Goes back to the run out of the three tight ends. But that is stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Kareem Hunt not having the success he had in the first play of the game. I think the Browns have the score here. I really do. I think they need to build on this lead or at least waste some time. There's been a lot of <laughs> there's been a lot of dramatic stuff going on in this first five minutes of the game. Baker Mayfield making some adjustments. He sees the blitz coming. It is actually picked up well. He's going to get out of the pocket. He's going to throw that, and it is swatted by Desmond True Front. Could have been another pick, which would have turned this game on its head already. But nonetheless, the Browns are going to have another shot at a play. Third and nine. Defense making some adjustments. Linebacker spreading out. Baker Mayfield going to adjust too. He's going to drop back. Tries to get out of the pocket. Has a man chasing him. Is he going to get this off? He does. Throws it out of bounds this past so the line of scrimmage. Look at that. Baker Mayfield, one for four, a touchdown and a pick. He's not, not doing very well today in the passing game, but nonetheless, the defense is helping him out. This Falcons team receiving the punt at the 40. Jukes a man, not going to get me any more yards. You know, this Falcons team is coming out for this uh, fourth or fifth drive. Really humble. This is a team that scores on just over 90% of the drives and they come out here and throw three straight interceptions what are we going to see them do they're going to motion the tight end out to the right make an adjustment Jacecki's going to come back in and he's going to hand it off to AJ Dillon the forgotten man of the offense he's going to get about six yards AJ Dillon actually had over a thousand yards on the year even split in time with Devontae Freeman Speaking of that, well, he's in the backfield right now. They're going to motion Swanson out to the left. Dre making some uh, adjustments. Read option. Gets past uh, Miles Garrett. And I think he's going to be inches. Gets a couple yards. Oh, they give him the first down. Generous spot by the refs. He's going to take that out. I think they should stick to the QB run game. It's really working. They can't decide whether they want to stop Freeman, A.J. Dillon, or Gordon on the run. But nonetheless, they're going to go empty here. Dropping back, looking for a man. He throws the slant to DJ Chark, who's actually going to grab that for about seven yards. It's a nice little play. They've been trying to take the shot deep, attacking the hole in the cover, too. It's nice to see them going short for once. Second and three. Dropping back. Skin the field. Pump fakes. Sees nobody open. He's going to take off up the middle. He's going to juke a man instead of sliding. There we go. Now he slides. Getting the first down. Four rushes, 35 yards. This is really good. The quarterback running game. Let's see if they stick to it. Going empty. He's going to make a quick adjustment. Makes another adjustment. Looking to the right side of the field. Dropping back. He throws. 
and it's out of reach for Taki Taki, but Ryan Swanson drops the pass. You do not see that often. The thousand yard tight end with over 15 touchdowns in the season actually drops his first target of the day. Nonetheless, they're going to come right back out into empty, make a couple uh, adjustments. <laughs> Go ahead and drop him back, stay in the field. Taki Taki jumps the drag, has a man. But that ball is underthrown. If he puts that over the linebacker, that might be a good one. And that is the fourth pick in the first quarter. Only having four picks the entire season. He throws four in the first quarter. This is not a great game so far. Baker Mayfield. Yep. I mean, the door is locked. And I'm narrating. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Baker Mayfield dropping back. He's going to run straight back into the end zone. You don't want to do this, but he throws it out of bounds. Glad he got the ball past the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, that would have been intentional grounding. Baker Mayfield run for five, three yards passing on the day. Nonetheless, still up by seven with a minute left in the first quarter. I think either the Browns are going to have to dominate on the run game or they're going to have to find at least a little bit of passing if they want to keep this lead. Running the stretch to Kareem Hunt. He has one man to be. He jukes him and he gains about five or six on the play. Four rushes for 18 yards for Kareem Hunt. Brings up fourth and seven. Are the Browns going to go for it? They're hesitating on the play call. It looks like the offense is heading out on the field. Even though they're on their own 27 yard line. Let's see if they fake it. Oh, Baker Mayfield actually snaps it. Dropping back. He's going to throw this up into triple coverage. And it is swatted down. Interesting decision not going for the play. Baker Mayfield one for six for three yards. He has more incompletions than he does passing yards. That's it. This is a very interesting first quarter. Four interceptions from your league's MVP. And more incompletions. Then, <laughs> then yards for the other team coming out. Play fake. The interception's not bothering them. They're still singing this around. And there goes the first signing of K Blaze on a 13 yard big route. Even though he has the four interceptions, he does have 75 passing yards in this quarter. Coming out. It's going to be a play fake. They're going to run naked. Does he have a man to be? He fumbles. And this is picked up by a linebacker. The fifth turnover of the quarter for this Falcons offense. Miles Garrett forcing the fumble. Baker Mayfield yet another chance to uh, to add to this lead. Kareem Hunt right up the gut gets just past the line of scrimmage. They're going to run hurry up. Baker Mayfield in the three tight ends. Safety runs up. They get in the box. They're going to throw a pass play. This is almost intercepted. Baker, I mean, not Baker Mayfield. Odell Beckham pass hits him right in the hands. I guess he was expecting to make a tackle there. There's no reason a superstar like him should be dropping the ball. But if you do rewind to his first playoff game with the Giants, he did drop a lot of passes in that. Maybe it's the lights. Let's see. Baker Mayfield dropping back third and seven. Cream Hunt in the backfield. Read option. Baker Mayfield is going to keep it and get the first down. Actually, he's going to slide. After gaining 13 yards, rare to see Baker Mayfield moving on a read option, but I mean, this was an interesting first quarter in this Super Bowl. We'll see how it goes. Where the rest of the game? Defense making some adjustments. <laughs> I can't find a freaking option defense. It's down there. There, there you go. Yes, yeah, focus on the court. There we go. <laughs> Baker Mayfield in the gun split backs they're going to run a screen Baker Mayfield gets it off to Kareem Hunt who has some blocking one man to beat and he gets about 9 yards out of that Baker Mayfield with only second completion of the day Kareem Hunt 10 yards actually they're going to give him inches not a very generous spot right there 
back slipping out there Look that. catching the football <laughs> just missed. all them going together is Baker Mayfield back in a split really back nice they seem to like the formation so along with the three tight ends safety's moving up in the box it's going to be a power and that is absolutely blown up by number 57 I can't pronounce his name I'm not even going to try third and three running the hurry up back to the split backs they're going to run slants and this is almost intercepted by 54 <laughs> that would have been a spectacular pick it looked like he had no one in front of him all he would have to do is outrun Baker Mayfield to the end zone but nonetheless he drops in this fourth and three and the Browns are going to go for it again coming out in the three tight ends Kareem Hunt in the backfield they're going to run stretch throws it backside and it is swatted down and they also got called for illegal man downfield that of course is going to be declined and the Falcons are going to take over at the 31 yard line See, coming out in the strong dropping back looking for a man dumps it off to Callaway who gets about 11 yards actually after making a man miss 5 for 10 88 yards a touchdown and four interceptions he's kind of slinging it today unaffected by the interceptions even the offensive coordinator he still has confidence in his quarterback dropping back again he's gonna throw this to the end zone it is caught he monsters the man but he couldn't get his feet inbounds one-handed catch Wow, Ryan Swanson dropping his first target of the day. He makes that one count. Too bad his feet were out. Let's see. Dropping back. Callaway in motion. Dropping back. Looking for a man. Pressure in his face. He's going to roll out. Spins a man. Gets out of the pocket. Makes another man miss and slides. What was sure to be some kind of sack. He turns into four yards. Great elusiveness in the backfield. Coming out, trips to the right. Got Swanson in the slot in K. Blaze closest to the line of scrimmage. He's going to drop back. He's going to try to throw that in and is intercepted for the fifth time in the end zone. M. Wilson with the bait. If you saw that he was standing on the drag route, and then as soon as. Gordon flipped his hip to look at Swanson. He sprints back. That is one of the Falcons' favorite plays. And as Kareem Hunt cuts it to the left and gets absolutely demolished at the line of scrimmage, you can really tell this Browns team has came. The Browns' defense has came to play. They have been jumping all of the favorite routes by the Falcons. Really into the film study today. As Kareem Hunt rushes for another few yards, this is going to be third and five. Baker Mayfield in the three tight ends. He's going to drop back. Looks for the slant. He runs backwards. Not a good thing to do. And he's going to just sling this one out of bounds. Bringing up another fourth and five. Two of 11 for 13 yards and a pick. Baker Mayfield. Can't say too much about the other quarterback as he's still five interceptions in the first half. Really, really good day by the defenses. Ooh, offense is really struggling, which have been really explosive offenses. Falcons offense putting up over 40 points last week. Brown's putting up more than 30. Still a lot of time to be playing here, but it is just looking really atrocious and sloppy on the offensive side of the ball. As he throws a quick out route to Odell Beckham, who doesn't drop this one, and he gets the first down on fourth and five. Odell Beckham, quick route, probably going to get him into rhythm. If he heats up, this could be a really good game for the Browns. As he's the Baker Mayfield's favorite target. Along with Njoku. Ooh. Coming out in the gun. Play fake to Kareem Hunt. Baker Mayfield running for his life. He's going to just throw it up. And Jarvis Landry drops it 101. Isaiah Oliver on the coverage. He's going to swat that one out. Nice throw, even off the back foot, managing to get that downfield and not getting intercepted. See that hand on ball, get that out of there. Baker Mayfield back in the gun. Trips tight end, dropping back. Ready for his life again. Has some space. 
Still in the backfield. He's going to throw this one out of bounds, too. As he gets smothered. Good job avoiding the sack by Baker Mayfield. Setting up a third and ten. This Falcons defense only giving up one touchdown because they're on the goal line. They're doing absolutely phenomenal for this group that was left on as they're going to run another read option with Josh Lambeau and he's going to get obliterated and fumbles I can't see who recovered that Will Henry Josh Lambeau the kicker coming out on the read option and he gained about 8 yards too bad he fumbled not used to carrying the ball that's some nice little trickery as Gordon hands off to A.J. Dillon, who's going to get about five or six more yards. Two rushes, 11 yards. That's a good average right there. I think they should stick to him more as the pass coverage has been just absolutely excellent by this Browns defense. Going to flip the play, handing it back off to Dillon. Fullback gets the block. Dillon, one man to beat, tries to run him over. He gets stopped. At about the 15 yard line, they're gonna spot him at the 50, uh, the 50, the 14. This is what they need to do. They need to run the ball. And as I say that, they come out in empty. Browns defense adjusting sends Devontae Freeman in motion. They're gonna throw the putt pass to him, and this is gonna be completely shut down by the Browns defense. Six completions, 83 yards, and five interceptions. That He has thrown more interceptions in this first half than he has thrown the whole season. Mentioned he threw 58 touchdowns, too. Sat the last three games. Hand off to A.J. Dillon. Breaks the tackle by Miles Garrett, but it is not going to matter as after he gains a yard, he gets smothered by the rest of the D-line. Third and seven. This is a big play for the Falcons offense in the red zone. They need a touchdown to tie this game. As they're going to run the RPO, he's going to throw that to K. Blaze. Can he get past Taki Taki, who was fast enough earlier, but he's not going to catch the fastest man in the league. That is a touchdown. This game is now tied 14-14. After huge struggles on the Falcons offense, I think they figured it out, or at least they have for that drive. Five plays, 37 yards, and they're going to tie the game. I think running the RPO there was a great decision. Now you've seen they've been jumping all the routes that they've seen the Falcons been running all year. So they come back to the RPO, which they ran not very much during the year. They rarely called it. And it actually paid off there. Get the ball, get the ball in the hands of your most talented playmaker. That's not your quarterback, and put him in open space. And he wins the one-on-one -on -one matchup against the linebacker for the touchdown. But here's the story: What is the Browns' offense gonna do? The they've only scored the one time they started in the red zone via a turnover, and it's been complete shit fest over here without it. Baker Mayfield dropping back. He is gonna go deep. And he's going to, Jarvis Landry is going to moss the safety and break the tackle. He's going to outrun Isaiah Oliver for a touchdown. There's a flag. Defensive pass interference. They're actually going to give this to the Browns. And just as we were talking about how bad the Browns offense were, they throw up a bomb to Jarvis Landry. And he gets about a 70-yard touchdown. Of all people, Jarvis Landry, not the fastest guy on the team, but geez, he showed it there that he can actually burn every once in a while. Mossing the safety with Cardo Allen, and this is now a 21-14 game, not looking very optimistic for the Falcons. Let's see if the offense is finally rolling, or was it all just a fluke back then? <laughs> Hesitant to call a play here. They're going to come out. Double to the left side. Two tight ends. They're going to motion out Jaseki. Making some adjustments. This is going to be the read option. He's going to hand it off to Dylan. He's going to gain about three yards. About two minutes and 20 seconds left in the quarter. If they can score here, that would be great because the Browns do get the ball back at the end of the half. Going to run the read option here again. They're going to hand it off to Devontae Freeman. He has some space. One man to beat. Running to the outside. And he's going to be caught by the safety. One rush for 39 yards. Devontae Freeman rarely gets the ball in this offense. But when he does, they're looking for home runs. As he is the fastest running back on the team. And he also still has quickness. Even though he is 29 years of age. Two minute warning here in the Super Bowl and it is going to be 21 to 14 Browns lead. 
at this point in any game, the Falcons were never losing. But as you can see, if you remember, the Brown Falcons are 15 and one. Their only loss was to this Browns team. Granted, it was Week 17, and that was their backups that the Browns were playing, and it was a tough game. Gordon trying to juke a man, breaks the tackle, still running around, smartly throws it out of bounds as nobody was open. Seven of 15, two touchdowns, five interceptions. Completions by the interception lines. This is his worst game in his four in his three year career. Play action gets sacked, but he don't he managed to get the ball out of his hands while being hit by Dante McKenzie. This is a big drive. They really need to tie this game the way the Browns offense has finally found the rhythm. Third and ten minute fifty left. Play action. And he's gonna run for this. Tries to make it to the sideline. Jukes a man. Tries to go for the hit stick. And they're actually going to say he is a yard short. Where they kick the field goal. Where they go for it. The offense is out on the field. Single back. Two tight ends. And they're going to snap this as quickly as possible. And it is stuffed by Taki Taki. Having the game of his career. Oh my gosh. That is like the most. That is the most successful run play. In the Falcons arsenal, that's not the read option to see them stuff that is absolutely insane as Kareem Hunt gets the ball to the left side and accompanied by a face mask. This Browns offense and that three tight ends are starting to get rolling now that they have some kind of passing game. It seems like bringing the safety up into the box, getting ready for this run play. They're going to run dive. He's going to cut it to the left. Jukes a man. And he gets about eight more yards. Minute 30. If they score here, that'll be crippling to this Falcons. <laughs> to this Falcons team. Back out. Three tight ends. Baker Mayfield dropping at the throw. He's going to scramble for the first down and slide. <laughs> nice to see Baker Mayfield running the ball instead of Josh Lambeau. First and 10. Three tight ends. 50 seconds left. This is going to be a handoff to Kareem Hunt. He's going to cut it back. He's going to juke it, man. One man to beat. And he's going to be sprinting toward the end zone. But he gets caught by Desmond True Front. Touchdown saving tackle. 11 rushes, 64 yards. Back out in the three tight ends running the hurry up. They're going to flip the formation. Odell Beckham is now going to be to the right side of the field. They're going to run the dive play again. And that is hitting the backfield. He fumbled. It's going to be picked up by Keanu Neal. Kareem Hunt running the ball just about every play of that drive. Finally fumbles through straight sheer fatigue. 16 seconds. Falcons is not known to hold the ball, especially in this kind of situation. They're going to try to score. Coming out in empty. 3D lineman for the Browns dropping back. He's going to try to scramble for this one. Actually, he's rolling out. Tries to throw the ball, but gets sacked. Eight seconds, the Browns are going to call a timeout. Seems like they want the ball back or a chance at another pick. Falcons come out, spread, doubles to both sides. He's going to hand this off to Devontae Freeman. Looks like they're actually going to sit on this as he gets a couple yards. Looking pretty nice, and this is going to roll into halftime. Browns up 21. Halftime highlight is going to flash back to last week. Falcons versus the Rams after a complete dominant performance by this Falcons offense. But you get here today and they're held to 14 points in the first half by this Browns defense who absolutely came to play today. The offense looking really lethargic, making a lot of mistakes. Five interceptions in the first half. Going through more interceptions in the first half than he threw all year. Maybe they can get some rolled in the second half. Let's get it rolling. 14. The Browns offense is only going to have to come out here. They're going to have to score. They're also going to have to chew a hell of a lot of clock. You know the Falcons team, even though they were held to 14 points, are explosive. They were the number one offense in the league. Quarterback with 58 touchdowns, and he didn't even play the last three games. 35 touchdowns from the receiver, Cave Lays. 1,000-yard rusher and A.J. Dillon, who also had 20 touchdowns. And then also the defense, when they pick up, is going to be bad. More of a second-half defense as they learn what's going on. Inside zone to Kareem Hutt, and he's going to trip and fall. 13 rushes, 66 yards. That worked okay, but in order to get the separation that you just talked about, 
change things up a little All right, bit. back in the gun. Seven and a half minutes left in the third. Baker Mayfield dropping back. Good protection. Lobs it. Oh, no. Miss interception by Ricardo Lockett. Hit as he thrown. That one sailed on him in the middle of the field. Ricardo Lockett expected a good throw. Went to go play the receiver, not the ball. Defense making some adjustments. Baker Mayfield in the gun. Making some more adjustments. Drops back. Tries to throw the fade to... I don't know who that was. Number 19, Hunter Renfro. They try to throw the fade to, and that is shut down through the double coverage. It's going to be fourth and eight at their 28 yard line. And it seems like they just fired the punt team because it looks like they're going to come back out here and they're going to go for it again on their own 28. Baker Mayfield in the split backs. Last time they came out in formation, we saw a screen, I believe. Got to look out for that. Cream punch very dangerous. Dropping back, Maker Mayfield. And he misses the throw to Garrett Wilson. The Falcons are going to take over at the 28-yard line. Jesus, they would just punt the ball. Make it a little harder for this Falcons team. I know your defense is playing good, but give them more room to work with. All right, Falcons out in the pistol. A.J. Dillon in the backfield. Going to hand this off to A.J. Dillon. He's going to break two tackles. 10-5, and he is stopped at the one-yard line. But I believe that is Denzel Ward. Touchdown saving tackle. Good yards after contact. A.J. Dillon, a big guy. <clears throat> sort of like Marshawn Lynch just ripped. Absolutely toned. As they're going to hand this off to the weak side. He's going to run a man over for the touchdown. And this is a tie game again. A.J. Dillon. The sleeper on the Falcons offense. They've really had to lean on him as the passing game has been so great. But when they've gone to him this game, he has been absolutely amazing. As he ties the game up right there. Absolutely just barreling through the defense. He also has a good bit of quickness too. As you saw him outrun some people on that run. Before he ran over the unfortunate defense alignment right there. But here's the story of the day. The Browns offense been 50-50. It's been picks, fourth down failures. But also they've hit on a couple big plays that's led to scores. Now a tie game. Falcons having the momentum. They're going to run the RPO. Hand it off to Kareem Hunt. He's going to juke that guy. Gets 10 yards. Even more. Looks to be about, about a 16-yard gain. Somewhat like that. Oh, man, they had him in the backfield, just couldn't make the tackle. Turns a four-yard loss of the 16. Love to see that from the running back. He's going to sling this one to the flats. Jarvis Landry in another face mask call. What would have been a five-yard gain turns into 15 because of the penalty. Brown's back out in uh, three tight ends. Defense making some adjustments. He's going to hand the dive off the cream hunt right up the gut. Almost jukes the safety. Touchdown saving tackle by Ricardo Allen. As he runs right through the 4-4 defense and gains 9 yards. Three tight ends, nothing surprising. Second and one, I expect a dive here. Dive to Kareem Hunt. It depends on the spot here. 16 rushes, 96 yards. They're going to give it to him. Generous spot by the refs. And that's going to be a first down for the Browns. <coughs> Coming out here in the single back, Kareem Hunt is tired. Look out for a fumble. His last time he was tired, he got hit stick fumble. They're going to run a counter here. He's going to try to juke, and they're going to stuff him after a game of eight. 105 yards on the day by Kareem Hunt. Definitely the most successful rushing attack against this Falcons defense so far this year as they're facing with a second and one another dive play this is to the back of Robins Robinson he's gonna gain four yards this offensive line is absolutely mauling this defense up front you think the the Falcons have been able to rely on that 4-4 defense to stop the run all year, but it's getting absolutely shredded as they switch to the 3-4 bear. They're going to run a screen. Oh, missed tackle. Jarvis Landry gets the first down. Story of this drive, missed tackles. The missed tackle of Kareem Hunt leading to a 16-yard run, and then the missed tackle on Jarvis Landry right there leading to another first down. Putting the Browns on a 3-yard line. First and goal. 
receivers. Three tight ends hand off to Kareem Hunt, and he is just going to walk into the end zone. Easy pickings. It seems like every time the Falcons tie the game, the Browns offense just clicks as Kareem Hunt absolutely carries the Browns offense to another touchdown, putting the lead up 28-21 to with four minutes left in the third quarter. <laughs> There's Josh Lambeau, looks a lot better kicking the ball than he did running it, even though he did gain eight yards. He fumbled. They're going to kick this off to Anthony Schwartz, who is most likely not going to return this. There we go. He's going to move out of the way. So this Falcons offense, I think they should stick to the read option, stick to the dive, go back to the RPO every once in a while. That's how they've been getting success. Running the ball right up the gut. They're prepared for the deep passes. They know you like your shot plays in the holes. So what you need to do is dink and dunk, get them to play forward a little bit because they're ready for everything. They come out, doubles to the left. RPO, he's going to throw this to K Blaze. Can he make a man miss? He does. One on one, makes another guy miss. Outruns another. It's him versus Denzel Ward. And K Blaze gains over 20 yards on the RPO. I'm telling you, they're ready for the deep passes, so dump it off short. They're going to come back. Same formation, but to the right side. This time, he's going to hand it off to Devontae Freeman, who's going to get stuffed by Miles Garrett. Three rushes, 50 yards for Devontae Freeman. This rushing attack has been pretty nice between Freeman, Gordon, and Dylan. Second and 10, they're going to think about what they're doing here. They're going to come out in the empty. Kay Blaze in a slot to the left. Looks to be making a few adjustments. He does. Now he's going to make a few more adjustments. <laughs> Looking at the coverage. One more adjustment. Play clock running down on him. He's finally going to snap the ball. He throws this one quick to Swanson who holds on to this one. First down. Ooh, look at the pocket. I guess this D-line to have a clean pocket like that is rare. As they're going to come back out into the empty, I don't like this. I think they should stick to the run and RPO. Motions Freeman over. Oh, I like this play. This is going to be the screen slant concept. Throws it to the screen. This is rare. And he has a man. Oh, K-Blaze keeps the block. That could have been a touchdown. Nice play call. Normally, they throw the backside slant on that, but they saw the linebacker over there and decided to throw the screen. Gains about seven. Motion Swanson out to the left as before. He's going to make an adjustment to the protection. He's going to be a read option. He's going to hand this off to Devontae Freeman. And he is going to fumble. And it's going to be recovered actually by the Browns. Denzel Ward, the fastest man on the defense. Nobody's going to catch him to the 20. And that is going to be a strip six after a promising Falcons drive. Denzel Ward with the strip sit well with the recovery for a touchdown. And that is gonna be booth reviewed. If this stands, that'll be huge. It's overturned. Looks like uh Devontae Freeman knee hit the ground. I believe he was actually on his back when <laughs> when the ball came out. So that is a huge breath of fresh air for this Falcons offense. As they come out in I formation, handed off to A.J. Dillon. Miles Garrett says no, not again. Absolutely obliterates him in the backfield. Now it rushes 56 yards and a touchdown for Dillon. Five tackles for Miles Garrett, fourth and five. And they're actually going to kick a field goal. Finally, the kicker is getting some love here in this game. And that is going to be good. Not missing an important kick all year. Mr. Sanders. Where Michael Vick's lucky seven. <laughs> and he is going to kick this one off. 28-24 to Robinson. And he's going to set up for a return, bringing this out of the end zone. Not a good idea. And he's going to be walloped at the 22-yard line. Might as well give it a chance. I mean, you got to, like the Philadelphia uh, Patriots Super Bowl, you got to take your shots. Can't play like a little bitch against these Falcons team. As you got to be balls to the wall for the whole 15 minutes every quarter. Even though these are 8-minute quarters. Browns handing off the Kareem Hunt as they've done many times today. And that's going to be another first down. They cannot stop this rushing attack. 19 yards, 120, 19 yards, 19 attempts 
123 yards and a touchdown by Mr. Kareem Hunt. Back in the fourth for defense against this three tight end set. Hand off to the weak side for Kareem Hunt. Jukes back into his lineman and gets carried for another six yards. This defense does not know what to do against this rushing attack. They are absolutely getting demolished. This time they're coming out in the I formation. They're going to run the stretch. He's going to cut this up to the middle. Couldn't get enough pep in his step as that was the hole. Would have been a big game had he ran like he did the previous runs. Maybe a little bit of fatigue from the man who's carried the ball over 20 times today. At the end of the third quarter. Are they going to get the playoff? They do. Hand off to Kareem Hunt. Right into the defense. And now it's going to be another fourth down to begin the fourth quarter. Falcons down by four. In the closest game the Falcons have had all year with their starters. Brown's doing a great job. Expecting them to just get walloped here as they did in the first couple games with their coach. But no, they come in against this dominant 15-1 Falcons team. And they are actually putting a beating on them. Even though it's a close game. Handoff right up the middle. And then it's going to be stuffed. But Kareem Hunt, well rested now after the end of the quarter. Absolutely just carries Tack McKinley for the first down. Tack goes for the strip. Unsuccessful. First and 10, seven and a half minutes. Hand off again to Kareem Hunt. And he's going to stiff arm him in the game about an extra yard. He's going to need about seven total on that. They're going to actually give him six. Not a very generous spot right there. Falcons trying to find a new defense to run against this three tight end set. As it looks like they're going to be coming back out on the field. They go back to the 3-4 bear. Not bringing the safety up this time though. Crashing the D lineman looks like. There's the safety coming up. There's going to be a pass play. Baker Mayfield strolling around. He's going to run. Flings it back across the field. He has Njoku who breaks a tackle. After the first half, first quarter and a half, they've really been inching away from this passing attack as it hasn't been working. But right there, they connect for a huge gain, setting them up to get another score. Fake, uh, fake jet sweep to Kareem Hunt. Defense not fooled. They're going to stuff him for the few times that they did today. Second and 12 coming up. I think this is where a Falcons defense comes to win when it's not short yardage. Maybe they can hold up, make them throw a third down. They have to stop the run here, though. Kareem Hunt fumbles again, and it's going to be another recovery. They got Afri Jennings on the recovery, gives the Falcons new life. Got to rotate those running backs. Kareem Hunt, 25 carries on the day. Tired as hell. Getting absolutely blasted by the secondary. Stretch to the left for A.J. Dillon. He's going to cut this up. Runs into his line. The stumble recovery gets about nine yards. Tail of two souls. <laughs> A.J. Dillon here. Good production. Well rested. Hasn't been leaned on as much. But Kareem Hunt actually carrying his team. But the turnovers here in the clutch have been bad. As A.J. Dillon on second and one gets about five yards. When he only needs one. Boosting him up to 70 yards on the day. Wilson on the tackle. The Falcons absolutely have to score here as the two clock offense by the Browns will be absolutely devastating if they get the ball back. Lots of pressure on Gordon. He hasn't had a moment like this all year. He's going to do a little fake. Does some audibles. See something he likes in the coverage. Snaps the ball. Dropping back. Goes to throw it. And it is swatted. <coughs> Trying to attack the middle of the field against this cover too. Hasn't been working. Joe Sherbert and Taki Taki have been all over the middle of the field. Not allowing the deep shot. Coming back out in the eye formation of second and ten. They crash. Gets good blocks. A.J. Dillon. They miss the tackle as he cuts up. Him versus the safety. And he's going to drive him forward for about three more yards. That puts him up to 96 yards as that was about a 26-yard carry, it looks like. Just squeezing through the defense. Big guy getting skinny there and almost tried to truck him in. Coming back out on the empty, going to make some adjustments. 
as he's looking at this cover two defense dropping back throws it deep to Swanson and he drops it can't hold on to it with the double coverage it is absolutely rare to see a linebacker literally 30 yards down the field he makes that break up in the end zone and they're at the 32 yard line they're gonna come out in the bunch <laughs> bunch close let's see making some adjustments He's going to drop back, looking for a man. He's going to throw this out route to Callaway. He has some room, makes a man miss, goes for the juke, breaks the tackle, tries to dive for the end zone, but steps out of bounds. 11 for 22, 193 yards, two touchdowns, and five picks. This Browns defense has been really good against turnovers in the last few weeks. That's what's led to their huge winning streak. They're going to come back out in the formation. This might be another RPO. They're going to run it. Devontae Freeman breaks the tackle, but is not going to be fruitful as he is hit at the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the five. Four and a half minutes left in the game. Coming back out in the formation. We're going to make some audibles. He's going to run the dive to Devontae Freeman, and he gets about to the one-yard line. What are they going to do first time on the goal line? Big moment. What do you call here? Who do you go to? They're going to come out in goal line. This is 100% going to be a dive. They're crashing the D, the D line. They know it's coming. He's going to make an audible. Audible to the power instead of the bootleg. And A.J. Dillon is going to score his second touchdown of the game. And he's going to give the Falcons their first lead of the day. The Browns are now going to have to play from behind. Even though it's only three points, this can be huge. The confidence and momentum could be shifted right here. They have more than enough time. If Baker Mayfield is indeed the quarterback he was the last couple weeks, he should be able to drive down the field here and make it interesting as they kick it off to Wondell Robinson, who is going to try to return this and get lucky. Gets to about the 20-yard line. I think he squeezed to the 24. He actually gets to the 26. That's where the Browns are going to take over. They're going to need a big play. They've got some from Kareem Hunt. They've got some from Baker. And they had a huge one to Jarvis Landry. No Odell Beckham sighting. Where is he? He would need to come up huge here to give them a lead. As they go back to the stretch RPO, Kareem Hunt gets 10 yards. Falls down because he doesn't want to fumble. 27 carries, 154 yards, and a touchdown from Kareem Hunt. He also has two or three catches. So he's up to almost 30 attempts. Dive by Kareem Hunt, sniffed out by the defense. If they want to lose to anybody, it wants to be Baker Mayfield. They've had success against him, but Kareem Hunt and this offensive line has absolutely just been bear mauling this defense. Two minutes, 40 seconds. Baker Mayfield back in the three tight ends, makes some adjustments. He's going to drop back, looking for a man, no one open. Actually, he finds Beckham. Fortunately, Isaiah Oliver does make the tackle and saves a touchdown as Beckham is known for juking those guys and getting up field. But he gets hit as soon as he catches the ball back to the three tight end set. Falcons back in the 4-4. I would like to see a 3-4 out of him. A Kareem Hunt gets hit stick again in the backfield. Doesn't fumble this time. Kalik Hudson, fourth tackle on the day. 4-4 versus the three, uh, three tight end set. Seven seconds. He's going to throw the backside slant and it's going to be picked off. Number 27. Is that Isaiah Oliver? And they get called for illegal man downfield. Barring an unforeseen tragedy, this will be the game. The Falcons are going to win the Super Bowl in their first season. But then again, Browns still have three timeouts. It's only a three-point game. They're going to have to get these timeouts out of the way. Coming out in a single back. Last time we saw it was on the fourth down and it got stuffed. Obvious blitz by the Browns. Gordon's going to make some adjustments. Hits the quick out route. 2K Blaze, who stays in bounds. Is he going to outrun the end? No. And that's going to be a first down. Gordon eclipsing 215 passing yards today. That's been a huge difference. A team finding a, run, a passing game. K Blaze 119 yards on the day. Sneaky. As they try to hand off to AJ Dillon to milk this timeout. He's at 99 yards. Browns are going to call their first timeout. 
their only hope here is to get two stops and try to score with about 30 seconds left on the clock. Miles Garrett, six tackles from the D line. Going back to the I formation, this is more likely going to be a inside zone. Flips the play, gets good blocking, and that is going to be the game as AJ Dillon just takes a Sunday stroll into the end zone. And D. Warden is going to win his fourth Super Bowl, his first with the new team. Just has defense has to survive a miracle in the last minute of the game. The Browns don't have enough timeouts to stop them again. So all they have to do is recover an onside kick, barring the score if it happens. Now number seven, Sanders is going to kick off to Wondell Robinson again in the dying minutes of the Super Bowl. And he's going to try to get lucky and return this as you see them set it up. He has two men to juke. Tries to juke and they do not fall for it. They're going to take it from the 22-yard line. Baker Mayfield is going to have to be more than great. He's going to be have to be lucky and special and all the synonyms if he wants to win this game in his first Super Bowl. Three tight ends, five D linemen for the Falcons. As they run dive, they're going to cut this back side. Kareem Hunt has some space and he jukes a guy. One man to beat. Ricardo Allen gets some help from Khalif. 30 rushes by Kareem Hunt, nearly 200 yards in the Super Bowl. Had they won this, it would have been the greatest <laughs> performance by a Super Bowl running back ever. Even in 2022, split back in the gun for Baker Mayfield, making some adjustments, dropping back. He's going to try to get outside the pocket. He tries to lob it deep, but he gets smothered by Tack McKinley. 7 of 23, 132 yards. Does have the two touchdowns, but he does have two picks. Pretty even. Not a very good day from Baker Mayfield. I mean, the two touchdowns against this defense is very great. But that completion percentage is absolutely horrible, especially from both quarterbacks. Dropping back, Baker Mayfield again. He's going to go for all the marbles. And that's going to be swatted out of Odell Beckham's hand in the back of the end zone. 7 of 24. The offenses have really picked up here. But right now, it's all about this Falcons defense who's absolutely turned up in the second half. More like the fourth quarter. After getting torched, they could not stop the run game. But right now, the Browns are not in a position to run the ball, which is how the Falcons win their games, forcing teams to pass. Is they're going to come out with a blitz from the 3-4. And that's going to be a run play. It's absolutely stuffed by Will Henry. It's going to be 4th and 13. Game on the line. 30 seconds left. No tight, no timeouts for the Cleveland Browns. As the defense looks for a good play to stop the inedible shot deep. They're going to come out in the nickel. Mugging the line of scrimmage with the linebacker. It's going to be a bluff blitz. Baker Mayfield tries to get out. He lobs it deep. And this is going to be intercepted by Keanu Neal. As he should just take a knee so he doesn't fumble. But he's going to try to return this. And he eventually gets tackled by Baker, May Baker Mayfield. <laughs> Baker Mayfield. And that is going to do it. 38-28. to 28. The Falcons are a kneel away from winning the Super Bowl. In their first year with the new quarterback that has been brought over by Roger Goodell after he had to leave the Chargers team as they were deemed too powerful and they wanted to see a new champion and he delivers giving the championship to Atlanta the first in their NFL history and that is going to salt it away great game by the Browns making it competitive until about the last minute and a half and the Falcons are going to win the Super Bowl I think AJ Dillon or K Blade should be the MVP as they absolutely.